Hey guys, it's Elizabeth. We all probably seen a beluga, but how much do we actually know about them? The closest relative of the beluga whale is a narwhal. They're both in the family of monodontidae. Therefore, they have a lot in common. Their family name refers to their teeth. However, narwhals only have two teeth, and in the males, one of the teeth is their tusk. They're both opportunistic feeders, meaning they'll eat different things depending on their location. However, since they're both carnivorous, they'll stick to mostly mollusks, small crustaceans, and fish. The first thing you may notice about a beluga whale is that their dorsal fin is missing. It even says so in their genus, Delphinaptris, which means in Greek, dolphin without fins. Scientists believe that this is to conserve heat and to be able to break up to four inches of ice. Another observation you may notice is just how fat beluga whales are. They have 40 to 50 percent body fat, the males generally being bigger than the females. All that blubber tends to slow them down, so they aren't very fast swimmers. If you're observant, you may have noticed beluga whales are white. Their name, beluga, actually comes from the Russian word bailey, which means white. Over the summer months, their skin turns yellow. In order to shed it, they rub themselves against gravel. Also, beluga whales, they don't start off white. In fact, they are born gray and later turn a darker gray or a blue gray. They begin turning white at age seven for females and age nine for males. Another way to tell how old a beluga whale is, is by looking at their tail fins, since they get more ornate as they age. But if you want a more exact age, then look at their teeth, since when their teeth are cut, they're similar to trees, because they have rings made out of dentin and dental cement, so all you have to do is count them. Beluga whales can live up to 70 or even 80. Another cool fact about belugas is that they have a lump on their head called melon. They use this for echolocation, especially to find breathing holes under the ice. And the melon is composed of fatty tissues and oil. Beluga whales are very vocal animals despite lacking vocal cords like other toothed whales. They make noises by moving air between their nasal sacs. Belugas can produce up to 11 different noises. In fact, some belugas have even been known to imitate human noises. Not only are they good talkers, but they're also good listeners. A beluga's hearing range is from 1.2 to 120 hertz. Human's hearing range is just from 0 0.02 to 20 hertz. Belugas are very social animals and usually travel in pods of 10. However, in the summer months, they can travel in pods of up to 100, led by a dominant male. This is why they are generally considered the most abundant whale in the Arctic region. Individual belugas can switch pods whenever they want. Belugas seek physical contact with each other and can even be such good friends that they'll hunt together. They are very curious animals and will often play with things they find. Belugas often show substitute behavior. For example, mothers who have recently lost calves will often play with other items and carry them around. Being such awesome animals probably explains why they are one of the most common animals held in captivity, as well as one of the first whales to be held in captivity. The first beluga was held in Barnum's Museum in 1861 in New York City. Belugas are also benevolent. For example, in a 2009 free diving competition in Harbin, China, a captive female beluga named Mila rescued a cramped and paralyzed diver named Yang Yun from the bottom of the pool. This saved her life. Overall, belugas are one of the coolest whales out there. If you like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Isamin.